個人のゴシップにも興味があるありますそうだね教えてあげてもいいけどここは交換条件といこう君の顔はアイ君に似ていて美しい恋愛リアリティショーに So we're in our fourth week of Oshinoko, and it really feels like we're halfway through this season considering how just ginormous episode number one was. But regardless, I want to put a prediction out there right off the jump in case anybody else gets this prediction first. In this episode, there's two main things that I really want to call out. One, Aqua. Finds out that the producer, the old man producer that was in Ai's phone, that he was tracking, he got a cigarette butt, he did a DNA test, no paternity, which means that he is not related to this guy whatsoever. So, although Ai had strong connections with him, although he was kind of like in Ai's phone and he did work very closely with her, it, nothing romantic happened or anything like that. It was just a mutual using one another business type of relationship. Now, he did offer up a little piece of information to Aqua, and Aqua asked for the information because he said that I was kind of gallivanting around with a specific gentleman, unbeknownst to her production studio and to everybody else, and that's the guy that Aqua wants to know. Well, the old man producer said, hmm, I'm catching on to what you're putting down. Your face looks like a u like,、uh, your, your face. Aqua looks like eyes. You look just like her. He mentioned it like three times. He can see the resemblance to eye very strongly, which means old man put two and two together. He's like, I know what and who the hell you are, little bro bro, little broski. So, with that being said, he immediately goes into make a deal mode. He's like, I will tell you what I know about her, but you need to do me a favor. What's that favor? You need to go on a reality dating TV show. My prediction comes into play with who we met at the end of the episode while Aqua and Ruby are at school.、Uh, they met somebody called Frill. Frill? Jesus, it's a hard name. Frill Shiranui? I probably botched that name, but whatever. You guys know the name, right?、Uh, a, a really、uh, a high level TV drama actress. And I'll talk more about her and the scene a little bit later. But,、uh, we, you know, they made the, the anime made a point to, to present her to us twice one where Ruby freaks out, and one where Aqua approaches her,、uh, you know, very casually at the end. So, my prediction, my friends, is that Aqua is going to be on a dating show with Frill Shiranui, and that's going to cause Kana, who,、uh, mind you, did ask our boy, Do you have a girlfriend? Very sly. She did it in a very sly way, trying to say, Hey, is there any scandals that could happen like a girlfriend? He's like, No. She's like, Ho, 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 ho. You know,、uh, but that's going to cause our girl Kana to get very、uh, jelly later on. But that's how this frill. Shiranui purse is going to come into play. I bet you I put my left dollar on it that that's what's going to happen. If it doesn't, that's completely okay. This is just a very out of left field, I can see the future type of prediction. Let me know what you guys think about that. All right. The rest of the episode was absolutely incredible. We got to see Aqua putting on a like top freaking tier level performance. He absolutely crushed it because he crushed the performance of the last episode of Sweet, whatever the hell it was. He crushed it. He did so well playing the villain. He did so well、uh, getting the other actor there riled up by saying some really deep, cut, like, you're ugly, dude, kind of stuff, whispering in his ear. He got a, a genuine reaction out of this guy, which caused an amazing scene to occur. He did all of this for Kana, and Kana delivered on an emotional, captivating scene that was one for one with what the manga was trying to represent. So much so. She got the manga artist, the creator of this、uh, manga, to actually cry for what a finale of a show this produced. All the other shows before it were all one star, two stars. They were crapshoots, but the last episode got a five or four or five star. Like, it got a damn like, perfect review. So much so that later on in the episode,、uh, where Aqua goes to talk to that girl, Frill Shiranui, she recognizes him from that specific show. And he's like, oh, and she's like, you did incredible. He's like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I thought that was like, my boy Aqua, he in. He's in like swimwear. So that was amazing. So I, I loved all that scene. 
Uh, then we have the, you know, the middle of the episode where, you know, the uh, whole crew of that show is putting on together the after party. And that's where the producer stuff comes into play. Uh, we get to find out that Khan is very interested in him, which we knew that he was. She's probably going to be the main love interest for uh, our boy Aqua, even though he's probably not going to prioritize anything like that unless it benefits him in some type of way because that's his character archetype right now that we're going with. Uh, but she, you know, she finds out that he does not um, have a girlfriend or anything and that, that makes her happy. Uh, then at the party, you know, he he comes up and he talks to the old producer and he basically, you know, that old man producer calls Aqua out for looking like I did. He's like, you have the same beautiful face that I had. So he makes the correlation there to it, too. And then Aqua straight up asks him, like, hey, what was your relationship with I? He just straight up asks him. And obviously, again, old man puts two and two together. His interest in I is too heavy for it not to represent something more. And he looks just like her. Okay. He's not going to say it, but regardless, you know... Uh, they put two and two together. Uh, then, you know, the rela reality dating show comes into play. Uh, then it's Ruby and Aqua's first day at school. Uh, Ruby is immediately taken aback by all the beautiful people. Basically, the school is made for people who are young and famous, actors, models, singers, stuff like that, to go and have a semblance of a school that's curated towards their, you know, talents, but then also that way they can have an actual school experience here. So that that was really cool as well too, uh, and then the whole stuff with Frill and uh, Aqua happens, where Aqua just basically says, "Hey, uh, my sister's in your class. Please take care of her." And he recognizes her, and he recognizes the or she recognizes the Minami girl who uh, was now forced just to be friends with Ruby because she just got it like that. Uh, and then the episode uh, basically ends with uh, Ruby uh, asking the Strawberry Productions lady, I forget what her name is, but the you know her surrogate mother or whatever. Asking her, you know, you need to make me famous like yesterday. Uh, and then Aqua brings up a, a very thing, a very cool thing and saying, hey, we need to recruit uh, Kana into Strawberry Productions. She's not represented by anybody. So that's going to be interesting. And that's just and also that's just going to get her to get closer to Aqua uh, and Ruby as well. So incredible episode. Really enjoyed it. I think Oshinoko is just really, really good. I'm just really, really enjoying it. Uh, I'm. It reminds me if you guys have never played it, it reminds me of a game. Uh, a little bit, and the game, the story-wise, nothing to do with it, but it reminds me of games like Detroit Become Human or, like, those walking-type games where they have, like, a web of different, like, or maybe, like, you know, a lot of visual novels have that, too, uh, where they'll have, like, a web, and they'll be like, oh, if you do this, you you're, you you did this choice, it would lead you to this result, but if you did this choice, it would lead you to that result, and, there, you know, a lot of visual novels will do that as well, will have, like, this web of things. It reminds me of, like, I, I feel like I'm on that web trying to figure out, okay, like, he did this, he brought in Kana, he met this, you know, it's going to lead to the, I think it's really cool to theorize uh, and see what it ends up giving us and what are we going to be right about, what are we going to be wrong about, I think it's just awesome. Regardless, what did you think about this episode? What did you think about the characters that are introduced? First day of school, uh, Aqua, and the dating show. All of it. What did you think about everything in the comments below? Let me know. Appreciate you guys being here for episode four. I'll see you for episode five. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.